One, two, three, four. 
so what I want to do now is to uh, select these four edges and um, I'm gonna crease them as well uh, and now I'm just gonna adjust this angle and uh, the length and be careful here not to like overlap uh, edges and surfaces because this can lead to some arrows and you want to keep your shape as simple as possible so now um, I just want to add some features to my design and under the create menu you have the option to create this blind torus uh, I, I didn't know this word anyway, it's just that circular shape there and I'm just adding a couple of those um, make sure that the diameter you choose for this shape corresponds to the diameter of your um, initial model because you don't want any um, missing spaces there here I just created a little sphere and I'm just rotating it and modify it a bit so it, it uh, kind of looks like a button um, and yeah just change it a bit and that should do it. That looks alright now. Now let's just move our button a little bit uh, up now and uh, maybe this section here a bit further down and this one a bit longer and uh, yeah now I, I'm just gonna add my uh, name using the same technique uh, as before so you create the plane you just write your name and extrude as a cut uh, operation and now for the final step in this model you just want to select all of your bodies that you have created and combine them into one single body uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, create your STL file okay so now that you know how to design your own drumstick uh, I hope that you upload your designs to the Autodesk community uh, I'll leave some links in the description below uh, if you want to follow my work with Autodesk, you can follow me on Twitter or in the Design Academy. So, um, yeah, please show me your designs, ask questions, just uh, really engage with the Autodesk community. Um, and yeah, I think that's all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!